Of course, when you tell someone, we can all just eat crickets, you'll probably hear crickets. But this could be the next big thing in culinary science. Experts say that if your toast had cricket flour, your smoothie had locust powder, your eggs had caterpillar fat, and your bacon was made of mealworms, you'd be getting more iron, protein, and vitamins than the breakfast you currently want to eat. So it's time to feast on some new info concerning crispity, crunchity crickets and mealtime. For many, it's the stuff of nightmares, but keep an open mind. This could be your dinner tonight. In this bin, we'll have about six thousand crickets. Joe Wise is the managing director at Monkfield. They've been growing these as live pet feed for years. Now, they're expanding, becoming the first in Britain to produce insects for human consumption at an industrial scale. You're getting a, at least a kilo plus of protein from that bin. The average steak has 25 grams of protein. That's more than 40 steaks in each of these bins. So Joe's hoping that people will look at the nutritional value instead of looking away. But there are other pluses. Emissions-wise, they're as eco-friendly as it gets. They take up very little space and they grow really, really fast. They're ready for harvest four weeks after they hatch. They're then frozen, washed thoroughly, put in a microwave, heated to boiling temperatures, killing any bacteria, and they're good to go. But still, hard to say they're mouth-watering. This is never going to look as appetizing as, say, a steak. Uh, but what we need now is some really good chefs and food scientists to get behind the product, make some really tasty dishes. That's exactly what Chef Marta Ortiz is trying to do. She's been slowly introducing insect dishes into the menu at Ella Canta, her upmarket Mexican restaurant in London. Like the guacamole nacionalista, decorated with a golden grasshopper. Even the cracking, you know, it's something so wonderful. And what do her customers think? They love it, they, they ask for more. You know, they want more, they want to try it. They say, this is magnificent, this is delicious, but try one you will get in love with them, I'm sure. This is a bit scary. No. <laughs> I'm not sure I love them just yet. A good chef can make anything taste delicious, but the big question is, with these on sale here in the UK, are people in the West ready to eat them? Never had it before, don't intend to have it now, probably never will have it. So some people say crickets, like these are the food of the future. Are they? That's lovely. No, thank you. <laughs> oh my god, it looks like a cricket as well. <laughs> just like crisps, to be honest. Just like crisps. Not bad. Not bad? Yeah. It tastes better than it looks, that's for sure. <laughs>